Hey everybody, what's going on today? I want to talk about three things that I think every beginner player or every new account in this game needs to be aware of to avoid hitting a progression wall. There's there's three things that I've learned in playing this game and, and starting over accounts. These are the, what I think are the three most important things that are a little bit more obscure as far as tips go. This is not like 5A a carry and, and, and the things like that that I think everybody knows and are in most beginner guides at this point. These are a little bit more obscure but I want to prepare you for these things so that moving forward, you don't hit this wall and end up in a, in a crappy situation. The first one is do your arena. <laughs> Use your arena currency every single day. Win or lose, go down your arena list. W win or lose, literally. Just start at the top, go down. Every time you have arena currency, use it. You're, you're still going to roughly end up where you should be anyway, right? You'll, you'll bounce levels here and there but you'll ultimately end up in the tier that you belong in anyway. I can tell you on my main account, uh, I, if I pick my fights very carefully and I, and I, and I really wanna climb, I can get up high into diamond, right? But usually my defense will get bumped back down and I hang out in diamond or, or plat one. I've started taking every single fight and I'm still sitting in plat one and I've, I've bounced back and forth between diamond and plat one. It's really not gonna change where you sit in arena and what it's gonna do for you is prevent a situation like this where the last thing you need to do in a chapter is arena but you have to do it a couple hundred times right if because this this counts from the beginning of the game it's not like once i hit this chapter then i have to do 600 and i've done 413 it mean it, this is retroactive and the chapter before this it was do arena 400 times and i had to knock out a few more to get to that because i have not been focusing arena that hard right um so, so that's the first big tip from the get go, from the beginning of the game, from the moment you unlock arena, get in there and use your currency. Take the ills, take the wins, take whatever you get. If you don't like arena, if you don't want to take it seriously, you still need to be using that currency because you're going to hit this wall and it's a real big pain in the ass. The only thing standing between me and this dragon eye now is what, 187 <laughs> arena battles. Um, and when I got to chapter 34, literally everything else was already done this was the only thing that wasn't done in this chapter and i have to do arena 200 times so start doing arena now so that this is not the mission that holds you up in in the in the later chapters okay the next tip and i'm putting this theory that i'm about to give you to practice in my daily free to play series i upload most days on my free to play account and we follow the progression so if you want to check that out i'll card to the series up there but my theory that, I, that I'm now testing with that series, I've re-rolled an account, and you're gonna hit these missions in these in these chapter quests, Mark Towers. You're gonna have to clear progressively the Mark Towers as you go. And as you get up to around like 16 plus, they start to get kind of tough. So my advice to you is to focus a particular mark when you're building your champ. If you get a holder and you're gonna invest in holder as your carry, then try to focus on light or force mark, it's called in this game, right? Try to have a heavy force team. For my free to play, we re-rolled, we got Hazanja, he's a green mark. So we're focusing green mark champions around him so that we don't get hung up in these mark towers. I had initially spread myself way too thin as far as marks go. I had a Valentin leveled up and I had some other champs leveled up and I've had to progress them and start investing in force mark a little bit heavier to try to push through these mark towers so that I can finish these chapter missions. And you want to finish these because these rewards in the later chapters are very solid. Five star eggs and legendary dragon eye. This is good stuff. You don't want to get hung up on something like that. And, and we know in this game, in its current state, after that initial grind where you can build a champ or two with all the rewards you're getting, it's going to slow down a lot and it's going to get really hard to build champs. And you don't want to end up in a situ situation where you're stuck at a certain level of the mark tower and you just have no resources to build any champs that are gonna help you get through it. So so whoever your first in big investment is, pick that mark and go with it, okay? And, and be aware, you're gonna need somebody that can deal with shields. You're gonna need somebody that can, can cut through a shield or remove a shield, and you're gonna need a heal block. Those are gonna be two big things for you to think about when you're building your team as you're progressing through mark towers. So focus on one mark, have someone that can deal with shields, have someone that can heal block, okay? Those are going to be pretty important things. And then the last tip that I want to give you so that you don't hit a big progression wall 
And this is not so much to keep you from hitting a progression wall, but it is something important that I think gets overlooked a lot, and it's the battle order. I think even if you don't spend the $15 for the uh, VIP, there is still a lot of stuff up here that's pretty good, right? There's a lot of XP potions, there's energy, there's shards, and as you progress through, there's some mythic fragments. And then at level 50, there's a few champs, which is, you know, basically four-star dragon eggs, unless you want to build those champs. But at level 50, there is a five-star egg, and that's pretty huge, right? Everything beyond 50 is like, man, okay, fine. If you want the two million, if you want to keep doing it. But these quests, you can come in here and just focus them. So like, I think this is an important thing to do every day so that you don't end up in a, again in a situation where it's about to reset and you're only on like 30. And it's like, well, crap, now I'm not going to get that five-star dragon egg. If you just come in here and let these guide you kind of like daily quest, you know, I can jump in here. It'll take me straight to the forge. I can forge three pieces of gear, knock that out and get my points. If I don't like one, I can refresh it. I can spend like 10 or 20 gems and refresh it to get a better mission. You can see the point value that it's gonna give you here. Some of them are bigger, some of them are harder to do and they're worth 100 points. Some, you know what I mean? There's, there's different point values if I'm not mistaken in here. And again, th this all adds up and it's basically all just playing the game. This is just a lot more resources that you can get for playing the game in a game where again, after that initial grind <laughs> wears off, uh, it does not shower you with much. The shards slow down, the eggs slow down, the potions, it all slows down quite abruptly. So this is a good way to come in here and just get more stuff just by playing the game. So focus on your battle order. Again, even if you don't pay, I think it's worth the 15 bucks, honestly. If we look at the bottom here, uh, it, it kind of dub it doubles all the shards. There's mythic frags a lot earlier. All of the, the values of everything is much higher than it is in the top tier. And then at level 50, you get five frags. So at level 50, if you spend the 15 bucks, you get the dragon egg, the supreme shard, and the five mythic frags, which will get you that much closer to your first mythic champ um, or their exclusives if you already have one. But I think that this is an important thing to focus that, that I that I feel like probably gets overlooked. I know I was guilty of, of kind of just thinking it was gonna get done as I played the game, but every now and then there's a, a mission in there that's a little bit more specific than, uh, than, than you might think. And sometimes they're, they're worth a lot of points. They'll bump you up a level completely by themselves so that that would be it i would say uh, start doing arena as soon as possible use your currency every single day <laughs> uh, if, you, if you use your 10 a day at least you'll be in a much better situation as you reach the later stages of these chapter missions and you won't end up in this situation because man this hurts i'm not excited about this i'm going to try to knock it out as quickly as i can and i don't know what's coming next it might be 800 and then a thousand i might have a lot of arena in my near future so just start hitting arena even if you lose it doesn't matter there's no you don't get any benefits for having a great win-loss record or anything you know what i mean it's just about where you place ultimately so do your arena pick a mark be aware of the mark tower progression walls that you're going to hit in these campaign quest missions and then focus your battle order which again is not necessarily a hard progression wall so to speak but it's going to give you a lot more resources especially as all the resources from the rest of the game start to slow down a little bit and it ends with a five star dragon egg it's basically a free five star dragon egg every month which in this game is is a lot it's actually pretty huge <laughs> so um that's it those are three things that i think every new account needs to be aware of to at least decrease the likelihood you're going to hit a progression wall the progression wall in this game is a bit aggressive right now hopefully they'll they'll make some adjustments and it won't be quite so bad but for the game in its current state i think being aware of these things really early on will help you so if you've got any other tips that you want to drop for new players below things that you think they need to be aware of moving forward that i didn't mention in this video that would be dope i always appreciate you guys helping each other out in the comments other than that i'm going to get out of here i appreciate y'all hope you have a good one if it helped like subscribe you know Y'all know all that already, all right? Get out of here. Later.